Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part 26, so let's play Shin Megami Tensei 2. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, let's head back to the fifth floor. Now, mind you, off footage, I scouted ahead through all the floors. Because, let's face it, you don't really need to see me falling through many traps again. Speaking of traps, there's another one. Great. Oh, and I can't use magic here? Why not? So I can't use magic in that room, or I can't use it anywhere. Okay, poison. I guess I have to use an item. Let's see if I even got one for that. Ah, this poison. Why couldn't Hiroko use her magic? It makes no sense. At least we got that cleared up. Can't believe that was a trap. That sucks. Oh well, let's see. Do I go this way? Yes, I do. It really shocked me how many floors there were in this entire watchtower. It's actually a lot. Like, up to 13. It'll take you a good while to climb it, but at least the floors are small. I'm glad they didn't make the floors mammothly large. And it didn't hurt to gain some levels, either. It never hurts. The only thing that hurts are the enemies. Well, they're the ones getting hurt. Uh -huh, Aggie Stone, who cares about that? That's just a filler item to me. Alright, let's see. The one rooms that I did not go in are the ones with the chests. Let's see what this one has. <sighs> Too many items. I knew it! As soon as I got that Maha Aggie Stone, I knew it was going to keep me from getting something else. And surely enough, it did. Vital Lances, Sonic Blades, Chainsaws, they're no good either. Ah, Luck Incense. I like that. Uh, yeah, give it to Aleph. He likes to be lucky. Uh, let's see. Yep, I just gotta go behind me. Turn left. Damn it. Luck is not on your side, friend. With no head. On your shoulders, that is. Oh, come on. Just one step. That happens way too often. For my liking. Now, where should I go next? South and west. So I never went in this room. Ah, 992 May. Cool. Ah, it's a Lilum. What's up? Ah, thanks for the money. Don't do anything perverted to my friend. You're just jealous. Yeah, I recruited a Lilum off footage for the sole purpose of fusions. I also got a Baphomet, too. Is there anything good in this box? Yeah, just stone. Close enough, I guess. If I even care to use one. Now let's keep, keep, keep climbing. Ugh. God, I'm choking on my own words. Ninth floor. So far, these encounters are getting a bit lame. I'm only talking to the demons just to see if I get some good stuff. All I'm getting is money. Small amounts, too. Screw that, I'm fighting. Lightning Whip? Is that any good? Let me check. No, it's not. Ah, oh, it's another trap. Okay, now I can use magic. 
I never understood what was keeping me from doing that before. Very weird game logic. Now, where do I go again? Just to get up? Ah, right, to the right of me. Or left of me, it's east. Okay, floor 10. Jeez, this place is very big. Like, I'm not huge, but long. You just gotta keep going from floor to floor. And it just keeps going. Speed incense, good. And give it to Aleph. Oh, great, another Alron. Aw, I was hoping they're gonna drop a ruby for me. I managed to get one from them before. I'd like to complete that collection, too. That would be nice. I'll probably get overpowered in the process, but with Japanese RPGs, there's no such thing as overpowered. There's just underpowered and really underpowered. A Hazio stone, I ain't gonna use that. I can probably use it as an item. Like for the boss battle coming up. Just to get rid of it. Ah, there we go. Okay, the 13th floor is surprisingly large. I never understood how that works. Like, you get small floors, and then a mammoth-sized one. On the top. Yeah, let's have a chat. Ah, free magic stone. Yeah, on the 13th floor is where you find the tougher demons. And that's where I've been doing most of my level grinding at this time. In fact, I don't think I've seen any treasure chests in this floor either. Most of what I've seen were dead ends. Ah, that's a Barath. I'll fight. I can take a bit of a beating. So it's good experience. I can't believe it! To think that they got a demon as guardian of the watchtower. What the hell is the center thinking? Be careful in there. He's no pushover. I couldn't hold a candle to him on my own. I barely made it out with my life. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> well, well, it looks like I have another visitor. I have to admit, it's pretty impressive that you were able to see through the illusions guarding this tower. However, the last guy who came here ran away with his tail between his legs. A smart thing to do, to tell the truth. Will you be as foresightful, I wonder? Sadly, I never got a chance to put my demons in. Let's see if I can escape. And he gave me a cheap shot. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to fight him bringing my demons this way. Alright, Kukulain's gonna come in first. Sadly, this is gonna cause Aleph some turns. Not the gun. In fact, why don't you use your Mahazio stone? Just get rid of it. Ice breath? Oh, great, froze over. Okay, I think this is the only bit of demons that I'm gonna use. So I'll just use my sword, Zianga, and have Kukulain use Terakaja. Yeah, Terakaja. If I can keep paralyzing him, then I'll get some free hits. I can't believe he's fighting me on the toilet, of all things. Like, the toilet, really. Is he, what is he chewing on, a cigar? He's chewing on something. It just looks weird and bizarre. Great, Kukulain is happy. Well, not anymore. That didn't last long. 
Okay, do I have Makajama? Yes, I do. I'll try using that against Kukulane. Might work. In the meantime, I can still do some damage. Uh, looks like it didn't work. Yeah, I get a boost in my attack. If I knew I was going to take on a boss and had time to prepare, I would have done so by bringing in more demons before the fight. But yeah, that was a bit of a blind effort. Getting forced into that. Guy! Kept avoiding getting shocked each time. Great, now Kukulain's magic got sealed. Therefore, he's gonna have to attack. Might as well get through it. Nice, three hits. Okay, one more Zianga, and then attack one more time. Nice breath again. Aw, that would have been my chance to attack. There we go! Why do I keep getting criticals on the last hit? Every time! I get criticals when I don't need them. Uh, boost it on stamina. That'd be a good idea. Such power! A human, yet summoning and binding many demons to his will. Who are you? Well, at least the toilet's okay. And it seems there's no more demons in the watchtower. There goes my chance of getting some more experience. Uh, there seems to be a room I never checked out. Let's go in. Yochu Siren is here. Siren is singing in a sorrowful voice. And there seems to be nothing I can do with it. Like, really? Nothing? Hmm. Then I guess I'm gonna have to leave. Alright, Kukulane, you can return. You did your job. Okay, what else am I supposed to do? Is there somewhere else I need to go? In the meantime, be right back until I find out. Okay, I made it out of the watchtower, and after going through the bars in Holy Town, it turns out I have to go all the way back to the Grand Church. It doesn't tell you to go to the second floor, which is where I'm at at this point. Basically, I have to use the guide to find out where to go. Ah! To hell with it! I quit! Who's that? Eh? What is it? You want to know what I'm up to? Sure. Well, you see, my ambition is to see the Halls of the Abyss for myself, so I've been trying to open a door there. But I can't seem to get it to work, no matter what I do. I know how to get there in theory, but not in practice. Do you want to hear how it's supposed to work? Okay. Alright, here's the deal. You need to find four magical dolls, which I already did. Each infused with special power. Then you need to place them in the right formation in a place where this world's energies are in sync with those of the Abyss. Then the portal to the Abyss will open. The problem is, out of those four dolls, I only have one. So, do you want this sleeping doll I've got? Sure. Alright then, here you go. Yeah, I get the sleeping doll. Yeah, when I tried placing the dolls in a formation, they didn't work. I'm guessing out of the four dolls I have, one of them doesn't work, or is in the wrong spot. Therefore, I have to swap it with a sleeping doll. And in case you're wondering why I'm getting no encounters, that's because when Hiroko leveled up off-footage, she learned Estoma, which repels weak enemies. It's kind of like Repel in Pokemon, or the Marvel 3's in Breath of Fire, which is very convenient. Alright, so where do I go again? I'm guessing I go into one of these two rooms. 
close. At least I hope it's the right spot. Okay, not this room. Ah, there we go. Yes, yes, I'll try it myself. I'll use the four dolls. Uh, laughing doll. There we go. Crying doll. Angry doll. And uh, dancing doll seems out of place, so I'll say no to that one. I'll try the sleeping doll instead. Now let's see what happens. Ah, looks like it worked! A portal to the abyss opened. I'm sure I'll enter the abyss, why not? Now, let's see what it's like. Uh... Yeah, it looks kind of freaky at best. Oh, there's a building. Let me enter. The gate to Tifereth is locked. Okay, therefore I cannot go in. Is there anywhere I can go in the abyss? Probably this building over here. A vast empty space lies before you. And nothing special at all. Wow, I mean look at the mountains, they're pulsating! Recently, the mountains of the abyss have been moving. See over there? You can see it too, right? I've heard that they're the body of the Kuzuryu, actually. Really? I've heard about that in the underworld. We're seeing it here, too. Set is sealed here and is in a deep sleep. Oh, well, maybe he should have not taken that NyQuil. This is Tifereth. It's the most populous area of the Abyss. Good to know, but can I get in? Okay, what is this place called? Let me set a marker. Let's see, I probably won't need it in the labor camp anymore, but I'll try this one. That's where I'll get its name. Ah, Tifereth. Okay, that's quite obvious. And I'll use the mapper to find my way around. Is there any reason for me to go this way? Let's find out. Tifereth means beautiful! So it's only fitting that someone as hot as I am live here. Well, somebody's very confident in their own looks. Good for you! I'm sick of negative people saying they're so ugly all the time, meanwhile they're perfect tens or nines. And their personalities are ones or zeros. Enough said. Looks like the Astoma is still in effect. That's why I'm having no demon encounters here. At least it'll allow me to explore this place. Who knows, I may need to come here later. Uh, no, I won't open it. I practically have to guess at the right moon phase to get the gem inside. I mean, it's all luck, because he keeps saying, Oh, it's a full moon, it's a full moon, but it ain't always the full moon. In fact, I tried opening magic boxes in every single moon phase, and they would never open. Or they would open and give me nothing. Even the full moon. I never understood why that worked. Oh my god! Ghetto old one. Eh, let's fight it. Eh, will I end up regretting it though? Actually, Aleph, you use your gun and Hiroko use the sword. Okay, not bad, not bad. Getting them charmed. Uh, no effect, and bind. Okay, that's auto. Ouch. They're managing to attack us. Safe to say the enemies here are quite tough. None of them are even in the red! Okay, uh, Hiroko's gonna need to heal herself. Use a Diorahan on yourself. I might have to bring in a demon. Oh yeah, I use this turn to bring in a demon. 
After doing a little bit of fusing, I managed to get myself another Kerberos. This time it has Terrakaja. So I have a much better one. I was trying the Mahazio. There, get him shocked. One dodge and one's dead. Oh, Hiroko used her sword. Kerberos used Terrakaja. Still has Samaricarm, which is pretty good. That's if I need revival. There, now I get a boost. Ah, paralysis, not good. Might be enough, enough to beat it. Ah, constricted! Okay, let's try auto now. Okay, now it's down to two. I'm starting to think we're not supposed to be here at this point. Oh my god! Uh, I think it still applies, but let me check just in case. Okay, damage is still the same. Good. Hopefully Kerberos doesn't get paralyzed again. Huh, <laughs> Zanma. Weak. Here's another Terrakaja. Oh, nice dodge. Now let's see if this is going to be enough. Better be. Oh jeez, more than enough. Kerberos got paralyzed again? And Hiroko's nearly dead. Ah, problem solved. Oh my god! Uh, Hiroko, you're going to get to use another Dairahan. At least Aleph is going to be doing a lot of damage. I don't want to run because then I'll lose all the experience points that I just accumulated. And that's no good. I don't want to go through all that work for nothing. Right now, Hiroko is paralyzed. Do you have any magic that will help, other than Terrakaja? Try Maha Agion. There, one's dead. Only eight damage? Lame. Jeez, Kerberos almost dead already? Oh, finally. Ah, an Amethyst, nice. Man, did this complete a set or something? Uh, I don't think so. It's practically the same. Maybe it did complete one. I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video here. Next part, I'm going to have to be all healed up and explore more of this area. Goodbye, everybody.